it's so beautiful. We're getting close to where we're thinking of camping now, about like half a mile from a, the point on the map that I picked. I haven't seen anybody yet, so we might have our pick of the litter for campsites up here. We will see though. So far this road is not too bad. It's kind of bumpy, but I think you could come down it in almost any vehicle. Maybe not like a low sedan, but any SUV would probably be fine. So I would say we found a pretty decent campsite here. There's somebody else's camper right over there, but I'm assuming there's plenty of space in this area for two people. Look at this, this is so pretty. We didn't drive very far up the road, we passed a couple of campsites on the way up here. Um, I'm not sure how many more there are up past us, but this is the area that was on uh, line for camping. It's like a little pull off off the road. Uh, we're at the end of that pull off right now in this like turnaround area. There were like a couple more sites along the way. There's some little offshoots down to some other sites, but uh, looks like you might want to have pretty decent four wheel drive and like we could probably go down to them, but I just was worried about trying to get out in the morning <laughs> if it is a little wet or something, but it's a nice flat spot. Some of the spots aren't super flat. As the sun's setting, it's getting prettier and prettier out here. Look at that. Nice. I think we're gonna start making some dinner. <laughs> we brought hot dogs and pasta salad. We're going all out on this dinner here, if you can't tell. Got the water on the boil. I think you're supposed to use two pots for this, but we're just gonna make it all in one. And then we're gonna make some hot dogs. And maybe we're gonna cut them up and put them in there like people do with mac and cheese. What do you think? Gourmet. This is such a pretty area. And it's pretty clean too. There are a couple pieces of trash that we picked up like along the edges, but other than that, it's very clean out here. So if you come out here and camp, Make sure to leave it nicer than you found it. Any trash you see, even if it's not yours, just bring an extra trash bag, clean it up, pack it out with you, and that'll hopefully mean the next people after you will leave it clean as well. Always leave trails, campsites, anywhere you go in the outdoors, just leave it nicer than you found it. it keeps them open, helps other people respect them, and I don't know, just makes them nicer for everybody to enjoy. Got the pasta in, it's cooking pretty slow. I think this fuel can's almost out. I guess I never said this uh, in the video so far, but uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, uh, my name is Derek and this is the guidebook. Um, mostly just hiking, camping, traveling, you know, adventures. Um, based out of Colorado here. And tonight we're camping out in Colorado with a beautiful view. Cooking some food. And um, this is my truck camper setup. It looks probably like kind of a wreck right now because we just threw some stuff in here, but um, have little cubbies on the side with these bins and I'm actually gonna do some additions here in like a week or so for a trip we have coming up. And we have lights, uh, they're not on right now, but I can show you more of that tonight once we get the lights on and in there. You know, you can see a little better. It's still a mess back there, but got the lights on. I picked up one of these Jackery 300s on Prime Day. It was like $100 off. Um, and this will be able to use, you know, power the lights, charge our phones, really charge kind of whatever we want uh, for the stuff we have. It's one of the smaller ones. There's not like a crazy amount of power. Um, you can't power, probably power like big appliances and stuff, but this is perfect for like what we have, like, you know, phones, cameras, laptops, stuff like that, and powering the lights for however long. Um, but yeah, so I, I built these cubbies on either side here that I have stuff shoved down in, and then I have these bins that I just bungee cord against the side. I have two on either side. Um, mostly just like cooking stuff, food, and then ones like cleaning stuff, trash bags, stuff like that. Um, and right now we just have like our bedding, our backpacks, sleeping bags, stuff, jackets, like all piled up back here, so it's kind of a mess. But it usually looks pretty clean. But I'll probably be doing another truck camper build update video here soon because I'm going to be adding some some shelves up here on the sides like above the bins because we tend to put stuff on these bins and then when you need to access the bin you got to take all the stuff off so it'd be nice to have like a shelf above where we can put a bunch of stuff and then still be able to just like pull the bins out and not have to worry about that. Oh, our fuel is definitely dying. I don't even think we're boiling anymore. So I'm going to switch out the fuel real quick. 
Hey, that fuel can ran out. Put a new one in. That's uh, that's much more like it right there. Already almost boiling again. I just turned it on. Pasta salad's ready. Now we're gonna cut up our hot dogs, cook them in here, and then add them into there. Ooh, those all went in. Oh, I missed with one. There we go. We chefed it up. Hot dogs and pasta salad. We'll have to clean up this mess. And yeah. Let's clean up the mess first so we can eat in the bed. <laughs> yeah, it's a good Where idea. it's warm. Good point. So we'll probably do that. And then we'll probably just hang out and like watch like a Netflix movie or something maybe. I downloaded some. Um, and just hang out. And then we'll go to sleep. And then tomorrow we're going to do a hike that's like uh, down near the base of this road. I forget the name of it right now, but I'll tell you in the morning. So we got sort of cleaned up in here, finished dinner. I would rate the hot dogs in the pasta salad as like six out of 10. Do you agree? Five or six. Five or six, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna hang out, maybe watch a movie or whatever, and then go to bed, get up early tomorrow morning. I think, well, at least from where the moon's rising here, we might have a cool sunrise here over the mountains in the morning. We will see. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's a little chilly out. Uh, it is beautiful. Look at this. Tucker really wants to go out there. Oh, it's so pretty. We just got all packed up, ready to go. We didn't really feel like cooking breakfast and I think it's pretty cold here, so we just wanted to get to the trailhead for our hike and get hiking, get warmed up. Because also the nice thing about truck camping is all you gotta do is hop out, throw your stuff back in the bed, and you can get going. So, it was cold out, we didn't feel like cooking in the cold. It worked out perfectly. See you at the trailhead. The road up to where we camped up there is not bad. It's bumpy, but if you take it slow, any car should be fine. I don't know the past where we camped. We didn't go up all the way towards the pass, so if you go up farther, uh, the road could get worse, or it might be about the same. I do not know. This part's mainly just kind of bumpy. Just go slow, it'll be fine. There's campsites. So there's like certain points along the sides, too. Made it to the trailhead down along that road we camped off of. Come on, Tuck. Starting the hike. I think it's five and a half miles round trip. Around 1,800 feet of elevation gain. Should be a pretty nice hike. This is beautiful. The trail has been climbing more steadily now. It was pretty gradual in the beginning, but it's definitely steeper now. I don't know if you can really tell on the camera. Oh, this is cool, a little waterfall. We're about one and a half miles in now. Still climbing up the road. What a beautiful day. Look at this, we're like 1.6 miles in now. Starting to open up. What a view. Views keep getting better. This is gorgeous. Holy crap. What a nice hike. The view just keeps getting better. Little side trail up here. Looks like it's like an old abandoned mine or something. Looks like that was the entrance that's all collapsed in, got the tracks. It's an old car up here. This is interesting. A little shack was right there or something. remnants over there. Coming around now, it's pretty windy up here. Climbing into the snow. I'd recommend having micro spikes and poles, or at least one of them, if you do this hike. Kathleen
can just put her spikes on. Uh, find a flatter, I might put mine on too. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Uh, yeah, we're gonna kind of climb up to this ridge right now and then follow the ridge and it, the trail is going to switch back back down. That appears to be it for the snow for right now. This is beautiful over here, too. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Still following the ridge. See where we came from up there? Hasn't been any more snow since that shaded side we came up. Beautiful Alpine Lake down there. Coming back down the other side now just came down off the ridge. I would highly recommend this hike out here. I would probably do it in the summertime so you don't have to worry about snow or the, being really cold, but early fall, still decent too. Back on the main trail now. The junction was very hard to see um, if you weren't paying attention. So if you wanted to do the trail in reverse, you really have to pay attention, but we took a right at the junction and I think that's definitely the best way to go. That's the way all trails shows too. And it's a lot less steep coming down from that ridge. It was very steep on that other trail. So I would definitely recommend coming down that and going up the other side. But yeah, we're back on the main trail now. About a mile and a half or so to go until we're back to the uh, car. See, the weather took a little bit of a turn. It's now snowing. Just came up over Loveland Pass and the weather is completely different. It's super nice and sunny out now. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video. We don't really have anything else planned for today, so hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, leave a like, comment what you did or didn't like down below, and uh, subscribe if you like videos like this. Thanks for watching.